I just need to clip some leaves from my mint on the roof. Ah! How did this happen? Yeah, that mint grew fast. If it isn't carefully tended to, it can run over anything in its path. I can take care of that easy peasy. With what, clippers? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Incinerate 5000. I'll go get it. Have you seen Lemon use that thing? Wait up, Lemon. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't see this ending well. There are less destructive ways to take care of an overgrown plant. Clint would never forgive himself if anything happened to his friends. Clint? Who's Clint? The mint. You know I speak plant. I think I speak for all plants when I say plants can't speak. According to Farmer Fig's latest guide to gardening, the first thing we need to do is trim the vines. Wait! You can't cut his vines now! Clint's playing rock, paper, scissors. Great move. Another W for the Clintster. <laughs> Yes, Gerald, I know a piece of paper wouldn't beat a rock in real life. This guy. Mm. Farmer Fig says spraying a solution of salt, soap, and vinegar will tame unwanted plant growth. Clint, old chum, I'm here for you. Tell this berry what we should do. Whoa, you're trying to make Clint sad. Soap, salt, and vinegar smells real bad. Mm. Clint says I should go on tour. Ah, oh, what a charmer. We'll never get this done if Blueberry shoots down every idea. Then maybe ask her what she thinks. She thinks she speaks plant. We don't always need to agree with our friends. Just listen to them. Clint, don't worry. I'm thinking about something. Blueberry, what do you think we should do? It's not about me. Let's ask Clint. Just so you know, Farmer Fig says that if we dig the mint roots up, we can... Move, move it into, into its, its own, own pot! pot. <gasps> Did you just agree with Farmer Fig? No. Clint agreed with Farmer Fig. He also said he'd be most comfortable if you did the digging lime. He trusts you. You're really smart. Thank you for the leaves, Clint. Bye, Clint. I still don't believe that plants can talk. But it was nice of you to say it was smart. Thank you, Clint. <gasps> oh. And done. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> All right, it's incinerate time. <laughs> Actually, Blueberry and Lime work together to take care of the mint. But I saved you some pie. Let's do this! Or pull! <laughs> oh, I meant for you to eat that. I love the smell of burnt pie in the morning. Anybody else done? Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth. Goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Ooh, ooh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but Winter Swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift for my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition. Because if it was, I'd clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I love it. Is there more? Up to you. 
That's the gift. We make this song together. A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. <sighs> don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Merry berries far and near. And all around us, winter swirling. So many things we can do. Deck the halls and shopping too. It's more fun when I'm with you. And all around us, snow is whirling. Hey! Winter swirling in the air. Nothing outside can compare. It's a holiday without you. The magic is swirling all around. Joy abounds and I have found it true. What's a holiday without you? All the sounds and smells are sweet. Time to bake up all the treats. Every berry loves to eat. And all around us, winter swirling. Singing that goes on. you give. It's about who you give it to. And Huck gave us all something really special. But I still give really great gifts. Cranberry jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumb Cake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Wow, orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow, Shortcakes is resourceful. Orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll 
save you some berries! Yeah, it, uh... Really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lading? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I don't, I don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make tripod, tripod and I'll lose my baking cup in a Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumpcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangelstein's. <laughs> Up. Huh, lemon! Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator 6! Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to 1 through 5? about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a spark berry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor hands. Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush layering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry! That metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. <laughs> Try 
extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Blew up, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out, hot pies, only eat when cool. But now, oh, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Hum. Mm. Also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. Checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies, only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? No not even a way. little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, berries, on your mark. Get set. Go! Pies <laughs> 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 do taste better this way. Another mystery? Solved. 